It's lit. It's litter than a hoe. Where that come from? This is the cutie girl theme song. song, song. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much. So, today is, what's today? Monday, April 5th. 2021 and your girl has decided can y'all see me why is your girl's decided to take a staycation a much needed staycation um deactivated social for the most part it's time to regroup myself oh god so i'm going to be staying at the william bale in williamsburg excited it's gonna be my first time at the um, hotel but before i go my baby was in need of a good wash so i'm in line at the car wash you know yeah 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 hi how are you um, I'm checking in. Okay, I'm gonna do a formal walkthrough tour thing, okay? So, this is the door. When you first walk in, this is what you see. Okay, okay, okay. This is the little closet area. Let's open it. You got your little area to put your bag. I know that's right. You got the little mirror right here. What's up, girl? Ain't not much. Kicking it. Okay, okay. All right. This is the bathroom. Toys over here. We love toys that are not next to the shower. Shower is very cute. I like this little feature that you can close it. Very, very, very nice. Very nice. Very nice. And you got the cutie girl herself. I know that's right. Okay. And like I mentioned, the light for the bathroom is outside. That would make no sense, but okay. We're gonna roll with it. Okay, here we have the bed. Okay, I'm giving out all this footage before I strip this thing down and search it because y'all know how we get down from the, my birthday vlog. Let's see if you got my little name on it. That's cute. It's got a nice little succulent right here, nice little touch. Okay, here we have the little mini bar. I like that. I like that. We'll not be touching that because y'all know y'all be overpricing stuff. Six dollars. $4 for a Snickers, shitting me. All right, we got the safe and the fridge. I already added my stuff in here. I got some pie <laughs> and a shot that I'll be taking. Um, a ginger shot, people. And I got some wine. I should put my wine in, the, in there. I brought wine with me. I forgot my wine glass. Bed, my Lysol, because you already know I spread everything down. Cute little couch like these curtains okay now my favorite part oh i'm sorry if i'm muffled y'all i have this mask on still my favorite part is the balcony area because you don't find this a lot in um brooklyn so i like that they have the little terrace 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 balcony you have the little balcony area, two seats, table, and the view is very nice. Okay, so we're taking a little walk to the former pasta factory, and it's really nice out. Okay, so I just ordered. I'm getting the um, 
spaghetti and a kale salad. I have my wine at home. I guess the manager, the owner, he was so sweet. I walked in and he was just like, how oh, can I help you? I'm like, well, this is my first time here. He's like, why? I'm like, I don't know, but I'm looking to change that. Very helpful with like helping me pick out what I should get. It was either between the spaghetti or the mushroom sauce pasta. I went with the spaghetti because he said that's his fave. And he recommends that more than the mushroom. And I'm not a huge, I'm not a huge fan of mushrooms anyway, so I went with that and a kale salad. But yeah, here's a Starbucks right across the street. That's probably I think that's me. Two. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good one. Or should I go on Starbucks? Well I'm gonna go on Starbucks. Oh my god! Thank you, King. You too. His name is Oh no, they forgot my salad. This is not me. This pasta is not mine. But you know what's crazy? This is the fettuccine funky. I'm gonna have to go back. So let me tell y'all about my God, okay? Because y'all know I was struggling <laughs> between picking between the spaghetti and the mushroom pasta, right? Fettuccine. So I told y'all I walked away. I walked away and I thought I had my right order. And it turns out that I didn't. So when I left Starbucks, I went back to them. And they were like, oh my god, we realized it after. So the manager, the guy that was helping me, he came out with my food personally. Love, love great customer service. He came out with my food in my bag and he was like, oh my god. He was like, you know what? I know you were caught in between, so we left the mushroom pasta in there. Because that's what I had in the bag. It was only the mushroom pasta, um, nothing else. And I knew it wasn't mine because I got a salad too. So he was like, we left the mushroom pasta in there, we added your spaghetti, and it's on me. And I'm just like, I was trying not to be a little fat ass, okay? In order to. And God, you wanted me to have that. It's alright, you wanted me to have both. Don't mind if I do. So here we have the kale Caesar. I'm excited about these. Spaghetti. And... Mushroom. I pass bread. I haven't I didn't eat bread for lunch. So I'm real excited about this. Mm. 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 Okay. Okay. Uh the mango dragon fruit lemonade. Bless it. I don't like this table being so low. I feel like I gotta, you know? So this is the mushroom pasta. Ugh, I do not like mushrooms. Mm. Get these mushrooms out of here, bro. Bust it. Bust it. Bust it. And you can tell the pasta is freshly made. My God. I want to dip my bread in the sauce. Does it make any sense? And then, if this wasn't about me, I'm gonna get some pasta. I didn't want spaghetti, but I'm just like, I make spaghetti, you know? Okay. See, God knew I wasn't gonna be like, ooh, spaghetti. Like, I'm just, cause I eat spaghetti so often. Mushroom pasta, I don't eat often. I don't like that dressing. I'm not dressing like that. They don't um, provide loaves and slippers like already in your room. Um, so you have to request them. So I just called downstairs because I want my bowl and I want my slipper. I'm gonna unwind. I should have brought my own candle. I just smell like shit. The lights on here. Only 
gave me two. They gave me two. Oh, because they didn't. I mean, that makes sense. I thought I had a nigger. Well, you don't have a nigger, so. It's whatever. Now I just got two. I'm gonna act. <laughs> I'm gonna act another one. <laughs> It's lit. It's litter than a hoe. Yeah. Okay, y'all. So, I just took the most amazing <laughs> shower. The water pressure in this shower is crazy. Okay? Like, you know how some hotels, water pressure be, like, trash? Mm -mm, not in here, honey. And it was just, it was loud. Like, I had my speaker in here. My speaker was right there. And I could barely hear it because if it wasn't for, see that thing up there? I was like slanted, right? If it wasn't for that thing right there, I wouldn't have been able to hear my music. Like that's how loud the water was. That's how like strong it was. It was perfect, okay? Um. Okay, this is fine. I bought my own lupa. Is that what you call it? I think so. If you don't know about these soaps, honey, that is, uh, I'm not gonna, I'll show y'all tomorrow, I'm not doing that right now, but I mentioned it in my last vlog, that and this one, that is, the other one is the Love Beauty Planet, um, I think it's the coconut water one, don't quote me, hey Jamal, this one is the Method Body, I use both of them because I love the lather. But um, yeah, water pressure was everything. I could barely hear my music, but I was singing, giving everybody the show they deserve, and um, you know it was great. Everybody loved it, right? So, <sighs> it feels so good. I checked the bed, all as well. All is well. All is well. That's going to be like, you see how I'm turning my head because I act like I don't know I have long braids. Let's try that again. Okay. That's going to be my new affirmation. All is well. All is well. All is well. Because all is well. If you choose to believe all is well. Okay? But um, I really needed this, y'all. I really needed this. You hear that? Like, y'all see the TV? I'm not even going to use that TV. <laughs> I bought my laptop. I'm probably going to watch a couple episodes of Snowfall. And I'm taking my fine ass to bed because I just truly appreciate the silence. Like, I don't know how people can go to sleep with the TV on. I don't know how people can go, like, I just can't do it. And I haven't really had silence in a while. For an, ex an extended period of time, it's been a while. So, um, morning it is tuesday april 6th just got out of bed um well not just i actually woke up around six because i wanted to pray as the sun was rising and it was so beautiful like so happy i did that look at this view One thing about me, do y'all see God? Like, that? That is gorgeous.
just wish it was a little bit um warmer. But I'm very happy about waking up early this morning. Like I cried as I prayed, released. But it was great. It was great. Today I don't really have any set plans, but I do want some coffee. And that's weird because y'all know I'm a tea person, but I've been craving coffee. So I want some coffee. Um, I do want breakfast. So I think I'm going to go get some breakfast from where I don't know because I am in Williamsburg and this ain't the hood. So. Hopefully I find a breakfast sandwich that really hits, you know. But um I'm just very happy about this view. I'm very, very proud that I decided to do this for me. That I decided to get away. That I decided to give myself permission to rest and check in somewhere else for a change of scenery and just for my mental health if we're being completely honest taking it in like God is the ultimate artist like it's golden hour bro the day just started. Feel good. I'm so happy I found parking. Literally, like, right on the street. Okay, so, my experience at the hotel thus far is pretty good. Um... Very, very luxe. Here we are. Hand rolled bagels. What did I get? Oh, I got an egg and cheese on a plain toasted bagel, which is gonna be dumb good. And um, a vanilla latte with whipped cream. And then I also got some orange juice because. Love orange juice. Ooh. We like these. <laughs> everywhere, everywhere, everywhere I go, everywhere that I've been, the only thing I see is beautiful people. Um, it's like. Six o'clock. Probably old man with the lights on. I went outside to get a couple teens. My body's been acting like weird. So like for the last few weeks or so, I've been getting like nauseous in like the afternoon. And I don't know what that's about. Cause your girl definitely ain't. <laughs> definitely ain't with child, so. What the hell is that about? Don't know. So I started feeling that way. And I was like, let me just, let me go get some papaya enzymes. If you don't know about papaya enzymes, papaya enzymes um, are very, really good if you have like an upset stomach or if you're feeling nauseous. They taste like candy. They're chewable. I'm going to show y'all right now how they look. I usually get them from GNC because they usually have a good deal on them. But it's the same exact brand. I had to get these from Rite Aid because Walgreens didn't have them. But they're like they were like ten dollars on a good day at GNC. You can get them for like you can get the bigger bottle for like ten dollars. But these are bomb. I'm actually about to take some right now. I'll be popping these joints like candy. Hope my stomach don't feel good. Let me. <laughs> I thought I had some in my car, but I don't. But I didn't. So I'm gonna take like. Oh, 
it says chew three to nine tablets. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> these, I'm not, nah, seriously, y'all, these are mad good. <laughs> like, these taste like candy. I'm gonna be extra and take like five. But this is how they look. Can y'all see that? How about I just hold it? They're mad good. Don't worry about it. I washed my hands already. I'm mad extra. <laughs> natural natural remedy mommy. Got the papaya enzymes. Got some water. Did I spray that? Yeah, I did. Stickler for spraying stuff. Got some chewable um ginger snacks. Because ginger is very good for nausea. Um ginger pro tip is also really, really, really good for like when you're having cramps. If you boil water with like slices of like real ginger or they usually they like this brand they have like these ginger packets um that you could just like add it's like crystals you could just add to make like the tea that works too for cramps but i just like the natural ginger because literally i had to use that over the weekend and my cramps usually i'm gonna do a whole video on period stuff but my cramps was like kicking my ass and um I asked my mom to make me some. She made me some. I was just sipping on that. And it helped a lot. So this is good for nausea. Cramps, all that. I got a couple of these. That's how they look. They're individually wrapped. So I chewed one of those on my way back because <laughs> devil, you was, you was a damn lie. Okay? Of course you got to get some ginger ale. You shitting me? Would I be black? If I didn't drink no ginger ale, I'd go lay that ass down? No, I would not. Okay? Of course. <laughs> Look at <laughs> coconut water, babe. Good for replenishing. Um, what you call this? Yeah, electrolytes. I got a snapple because I just be thirsty. I got some melatonin. I got some melatonin because I haven't been sleeping right, and I usually never have a problem sleeping. I don't have a problem like. Well, falling asleep, kind of, but it's just like, you know when you be asleep, but your mind still be, like, racing? That's been me these last couple of weeks, and I don't like it. So, I am hungry. I am also, like, is it because of I had, is it because I had that um egg and cheese this morning? Because I haven't had eggs. I'm, I haven't had eggs recently. I don't like freshly open um, ginger ale. Ugh. So I don't like feeling like I have to burn. Let it get a little flat. Just a little bit. Not too flat, but a little bit flat. So I'm good. What was I saying? Yeah, I was thinking, I'm like, is this the egg? It was this the egg and cheese sandwich that I had this morning. Is it the coffee? Because I usually only drink like Dunkin' or Starbucks. I don't know what the hell. But around like four, I started feeling a little. It wasn't too crazy. I'm just like, hmm. I don't like that. So now I'm like, damn. Should I even eat anything later? I'm hungry. Y'all. Y'all, I am a happy girl. Look at this. This is this is the Rasta Pasta flatbread from Kokomo. I'm about to watch Snowfall. Let's get it going. Follow me.